Hi, welcome to Pei Wen's Note. Today is such a pleasure to have Maestro uh, Herbig with us. Hello, Mr. Hello. Herbig. Welcome to Taiwan. Thank how, you. How many times have you been in Taiwan? Well, the first time may have been 23 years ago when I was on a tour with the Toronto Symphony. And then I came regularly every year since, I would say, six years. I know that I spoke to the orchestra members and you're quite popular. They all like you very much. And uh, mm, you are student of Van Karajan, the famous conductor. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I had uh, the great opportunity to work with him for two years. But this was not a everyday kind of a study. This was just when uh, von Karajan was conducting in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Then he gave in the afternoon, he gave master classes. And I had the incredible uh, opportunity to take part. How do you like him as a teacher? We only see him as a performer. Well, everybody thinks that he uh, may have talked about musical ideas and great schemes. No, he talked about the basic things of conducting, how to get a pizzicato together, mm -hmm. how to give uh, uh, a uh, cue to an instrument and things like that. And I've been reading your biography this morning. It's a very incredible career you have. You conduct so many famous orchestra, but you also a conductor of a Berlin um, Philharmonic. Would you tell us? How no, many not years the Berlin Philharmonic, the Berlin okay. Symphony. And how many years have you worked with them? This was 14 years. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Mm -hmm. Work in Berlin. Well, I first uh, was for five years uh, the number two conductor. Um, next to Kurt Sanderling. And then when he retired, I became his successor and spent another seven years with the orchestra. Oh, I see. And um, you have um, make a recording over like a hundred of them and uh, work including Brahms and Mahler, Fifth Symphony, Beethoven. Who's your favorite? composer? Do you have a favorite scene? Oh, no, I mean, uh, there are so many great composers that it would be unjust to select one. And I would say just the one which you are just conducting, you feel the closest to, as it should be. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a very, very good answer. And um, um, I I went to Yale for uh, studying cello with Aldo Paraso and I was reading the bio says you're also teaching there. Uh, how long have you teaching in Yale? This was six you years. Six years. What do you think of the young generations of a conductor? Oh, there are a lot of very, very gifted, musically gifted uh, young conductors and especially their technical skills are very, very advanced. What sometimes is missing is personality. <laughs> uh, but this may come with years and with experience. Mm -hmm. okay. Then what kind of personality do you have as a conductor? Me? Well, my audience and the musicians can say great. They love you as a great teacher here. They love you as a great conductor. And just all the German pieces that you've been conducting, I think you're very, very good. Well, I like <laughs> working here because uh, the orchestra is very good. And uh, the orchestra is interested in improvement and in getting to the next higher step. And this is something very, very rewarding for a conductor. the National Concert Hall, the acoustic. Very good, very good. It's a beautiful hall and it's good acoustic. Have yes. you ever stood in the audience? <laughs> yes, I have. I have. Okay. Would you like to come back here more often? Well, uh, I, uh, I come every year 
for two weeks and uh, if they want me to come more, I'm very happy doing that. I think that. you should come back more often.